in this museum, you can tramp along trails fragrant with mulch and leaves and flowers. Instead of a headset, the sound of birds and waterfalls accompany your contemplation of the sculptures that capture timeless human emotions. Best of all, at the Umlauf Sculpture Garden and Museum, set on two acres above Zilker Park, you can run your hands over the sculptures for a sensory connection to Charles Umlauf's passion. Charles Umlauf was a noted 20th century American sculptor who taught at the University of Texas here for 40 years. He came down from Chicago in 1941 and lived here until he died in 1994. His sculpture is easily accessible. It's primarily figurative, and as you get comfortable with the figurative pieces, then you relax and begin to understand and appreciate the uh, more abstract pieces that he did as well. Back in 1985, uh, Charles Umloff <clears throat> and his wife Angie gave the city of Austin their home, his studio, and 168 pieces of sculpture. And the city said, well, thank you. And they weren't quite sure what they were supposed to do with all of this because Charles and Angie wanted to live in their home and how do you run a museum through somebody's house. And luckily this piece of property we're on now became <clears throat> part of the city land bank and so it took six years for a group of private citizens led by one of Austin's grand dames, Roberta Crenshaw, to raise the money to build this museum on this piece of property that adjoins the Umlaus two acres. And it's a very successful public-private partnership. We are city-owned but the Friends of the Omaha Sculpture Garden fund, manage, and maintain the museum. Volunteers also help plant and maintain the garden, another partnership to assist the Parks Department. They rely on plants that don't need a lot of supervision or water. On a limited budget, landscape architect Ann Coleman designed user-friendly access on the former dump site. She turned drainage problems into water features. Then Charles and Angie's personal outdoor sculpture garden moved downhill to the public. Angie supervised each placement to convey the sculpture's significance. I think the first thing is it makes you comfortable. I think nature, working in nature, being in nature, just instinctively relaxes people. They relate to it. And to have fine art in a beautiful garden, each complements the other. And it's fascinating because people who've been here before will come and say, oh, I love what you've done in the back, you know, the way you've rearranged those sculptures. We haven't. We don't have the money too. But since the last time they were here, the trees have lost their leaves, the light is slanting in differently. So they have a whole new experience with that particular piece of sculpture. So it, it's just a changing, and fascinating and enriching experience to have it all in the garden. Charles left another legacy, his students, so every year the garden features work by one of them. Thanks to Roberta Crenshaw, the garden includes a building for school groups, receptions, and lectures. The garden's latest addition updates and upgrades the wedding terrace and pavilion, a popular venue for events, performance, and weddings. Dee Crane's design corrected structural and hillside erosion concerns, but its visual intent was to salute Charles Umloff. It's a salute that happens every day, where visitors find solace and inspiration from Umlauf sculptures under the trees.
What's magical about this is so museums are be quiet, stand still, don't touch. And here, all of our bronzes have been waxed so we can allow touch tours by the visually impaired. And because the sculptures have been waxed and people can touch them lightly, kids can. And they can talk about the different textures and the roughness of the warthog. It feels like a bronze eyebrow, the smoothness of the hippo, its big smile. And so it's, it's accessible in a number of different ways, not only with your eyes, but with your fingers. And true sculpture, I mean, it's three-dimensional. You want to walk all the way around. In a museum, you don't have as much opportunity to. There, we try and leave room around each sculpture, but it's nothing like here, where you can go all the way around as many times as you'd like to. Approach it from different angles as you walk through the garden. Each sculpture is changing as you walk through the garden. Thank you.